Hi, in this video, we're going to learn how we can add text labels to our screen. Let's go. The write function is a new command that allows us to add labels to the screen. We simply insert the text we want to write as a parameter in our function. We can print strings or integers to our screen this way. So if we called this function with the text hello world, we would see that label appear at Tracy's location on the screen. It does look pretty small though, so let's look at a way we can change the size. Adding the font parameter will allow us to change both the size and style of the font used to create the label. We need to include this information inside a set of parentheses, where each item is separated by a comma. The type of font or font name comes first. This name is written inside quotation marks. A few examples you can use are Arial, Times New Roman, and Futura. The size of the font comes second and is written as an integer value that notes the size of the font in pixels. When we add the font attribute with a font name of Futura and a size of 20, we see that the font is larger and has changed in style. The third attribute we can use when we use our write function is a line. This will determine where the text will be drawn in relation to Tracy's position. The options we can use here are center, left, or right, all written inside quotation marks. An important thing to note is that the attributes of font and a line are optional and can be called in any order inside our write function. Though we need to add the text to print as the first parameter, we can choose to add whichever additional parameters we'd like and can place them in either order. When we add the align attribute to our write function and set the location to center, we can see that the text is centered above Tracy's location. We can use variables to print a label, the same way we use variables in other parts of our programs. We can just call the variable name where the text should be included in the write function, and the value saved in that variable will be printed. If we want to add strings together, say in this case where we want to create a greeting depending on the name saved inside a variable, we use something called concatenation. To concatenate strings, we place a plus sign between the different items and they will all be pieced together to form our final string, in this case, hello Tracy. Note that we need to include a space after the string hello. If we do not, there will be no space between our string hello and our string Tracy. Also, remember if we want to use the value of the variable, we do not include quotation marks around the variable name. In this lesson, we learned how to use the write function to add text to the screen. Now it's your turn to use this function in some Tracy programs of your own.